Hey guys, so this is I think one of the final RRV videos, the Rhodesian Recon Vest videos I'm going to do while out and about for a while. As you can see, and I posted it on Instagram, as you can see I have baby pooped my vest. Um, I'm out here in the Oregon, the Oregon Mountains. Uh, I'm just, you know, uh, going through some washes in this juniper scrub. That's why I'm wearing my Odie Greens. Odie Greens with the baby poop. Um, more the plate today because a lot of this, especially the closer you get to the base of the mountains, a lot of this turns into uh, close, tight scrub. And that was the first video I made. That was one of the points I made about having the plate. Potentially up close and personal where you might not <clears throat> see uh, see somebody see something until it's too close enough close and that's another reason why I'm carrying my AK out here so with this with those Eagle industry pouches I have uh, normally it's eight AR mags but with this I can carry four AK mags plus one on the rifle just like my type 84 tricom rig so same uh, same loadout ammunition wise um, so yeah, with the baby poop out here, there's, it's actually, I've picked this area right over here and a little bit that way, more towards the flat, the, the valley. Uh, there's a lot of this dry grass, but mainly where I've been um, is up. And as you can see, I don't know if we're, if you can see up towards the mountains, I apologize for the wind. It's a beautiful day. Um, but yeah, so the more you get towards the mountains, the green, not necessarily the greener it gets, but there's more juniper and cedar, and that's where the OD green thrives, I guess. I guess you could say it thrives. Um, but yeah, so I'm out here uh, with the plate. This is actually probably, we've gone through mountainous alpine, arid mountains, and now I don't know what I would consider this. It's arid mountains, but it's also like a, uh, it's not desert mountains like the Franklins. I guess you could technically consider it a forested, mountainous environment. Um, yeah, uh, I think it works, and, and especially, like I said, with um, with my rifle setup video, with having the L can, um, and the opposite of that, having the EOTech on, like my AR, up in the dense forested mountains, because you're not going to be shooting that far. Here, it's interesting. When you get into the trees and into the brush, you can't see that far. When you get into these cleared areas like this, right, you can see some decent distances within eyesight, which would, which is good for, I, for in my opinion, good for iron sights. Um, that's why I carried the AK. Plus, it's got a little more. I've said this before, but I'm a, a advocate, a proponent, proponent of AK is great for close in. Uh, and it's a heavy, it's a, it's fucking 30 caliber round. It's heavier hitting than a 5.56. Five, it's, it's just ballistically, it's just what it is. But obviously it doesn't go as far as a 5.56. Five, five, Normally when I've come out here, I've had my AR with my L can. So I could see up into the mountains. But normally, you know, going up into the mountains, um, normally doing that, I would, um, you know, look, I'm above a road here. So I apologize for any vehicles you hear or anything kind of disrupt the video. But yeah, I'm, a, I'm about 200 feet above a road, the way the road is here. But um, but yeah, so what? it's also kind of winds picking up a little bit. But yes, uh, iron sights, in my opinion, for a close-in brush environment, work incredibly well. And here, where can you, right here, yeah. So right along... See that mound right there? That that um, it is a mound. It's just a massive stone. Right beneath it is a wash that goes up. And I was also following some. It's probably going to pronounce it wrong. Picari, Picari, which is a tiny little boar type animal out here in this high desert, um, related to a boar pig. And uh, yeah, the the tracks are pretty easy to follow. They like to follow washes in the long water, obviously. Uh, the cows here, the ranchers fucking hate them because the cows hate the peca peccary, peccary, however you pronounce them. Small. They're 
the size of a medium dog. They don't get as big as a, a, a boar boar, a wild boar. But yeah, so I've seen them a couple times out here. The track's all over. So yeah, um, RRV in a forested, arid, uh, mountainous environment. Forested? Arid, forested, yeah, mountainous environment. The AK setup with the plate for close in. Um, yeah, I, it, it works. It's great. I, I legitimately, this is, this is going to be my go-to. I love my pattern 83, but this, I, you can't, really can't beat it. The, the um, ability to have a plate for an environment like this, take the plate out for an arid environment, um, plate in for the woods. So, yeah. Thank you guys. Um, we'll see. Maybe do another, I don't know, another RV um, video. Maybe do a compare and contrast RV pattern 83 with, without, the, uh, without the plate. So yeah. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed this quote unquote mini series of RRV observations in different environments. And uh, we'll see what's next. Thanks.